Hello kids, today we shall learn about an important effect of electricity flow other than the heating effect which we already know. But first, do you know why the humans are considered as the most intelligent amongst all the animals? This is because we can think, reason out and even create new things. The caveman discovered fire which was the gift of nature. They led a simple life. They cooked meat and scared away the animals using that. But now, how do we humans use fire in the modern times? We use fire to melt metal and give it the desired shape to generate electricity from oil and coal to make steam that runs the train engines and many many more. Same way the nature gifted us an amazing thing the magnet. Mother nature knew we humans would make great use of it and we have done that. How did we do it? Just like we learn to control fire we learn to control the magnet too. Nowadays we don't need to rub two stones that is the flint stones with each other to make fire like it was in the stone age. We invented our own ways to make small or big fire. For that we invented matchboxes, lighters, furnaces etc. Same way humans also invented new ways to make magnets of different size, shape and even strength. We can make weak or strong magnets for different purposes like making a speaker and small radio to pulling a huge iron block by using the crane. How did we do that? We already know rubbing a magnet on an iron piece converts that iron piece into a magnet. But that is a weak magnet and making magnet this way is also tiring. So we humans found a new way to make powerful magnets. It is by using electricity. Yes, electricity. If we coil an insulated copper wire around an iron nail and connect the free ends of the wire to the terminals of a cell through a switch and flow the current through that wire, it behaves like a magnet. Unbelievable? Is it possible? Let us test it. If we bring pins near the iron nail, we will see that the pins cling to the tip of the nail. This proves that the coil has become a magnet. Now let us stop the current by using the switch. We will see that the pins no longer cling to the tip of the iron nail. What does this prove? It proves that the magnetic effect is there as long as the current flows through the coil. So, by passing electric current through a copper coil wound around an iron nail, we were able to make a magnet. Is it possible to increase its magnetic strength? Yes, it is very much possible. We can increase the flow of current through the wire, of course, now you know this cannot go beyond a certain limit as each circuit has its tolerance limit. The increased flow of current will make the magnet stronger. We can also make a stronger magnet by applying another method. That is, by increasing the number of turns of the copper coil around the iron nail. So, we know how to make the magnet stronger and stronger. You may ask why was the gaining control over the magnet so necessary? Well, we cannot control the power of the natural magnet. Also, we require magnets of different shapes and sizes too. Hence, the natural magnet cannot be used in many machines. Now we know when the electric current passes through a wire, 
it behaves like a magnet this is the magnetic effect of the electric current and a current carrying coil of an insulated wire wound around a piece of iron is called an electromagnet thus the insulated copper wire wound around the iron nail and current flowing through it was indeed an electromagnet also the power of an electromagnet can be increased or decreased to use it in different appliances as we saw by increasing or decreasing the number of turns of the coil and by varying the flow of current through the coil we can change the strength of the electromagnet and the most important thing to remember is the electromagnet can be turned off by stopping the electric flow of current which made it an electromagnet the scientist who discovered the magnetic effect of electric current was hans christian oersted and how did he discover this he once took a compass near the electric wire while the current was flowing through it and saw that the magnetic needle of the compass was getting deflected indicating the presence of another magnet nearby he came to conclusion that the electric flow of current had a magnetic effect today the electromagnets are used in many devices like the motors generators cranes to separate magnetic materials from the junk children's toys electric bell speakers in the radio tv etc here we conclude our lesson for today see you in the next class bye bye kids